mean, this is really a small miracle. Hello, it's been a long time since I posted a video here and I apologize for that. I've been wanting to share an update with you guys. Things are going well. We've been on several trips in the last few months and just a lot has been going on and in all of the good ways. I'm just continuing to heal, I'm continuing to recover and to just get physically stronger and my capacity to do things has just continued to increase and DNRS, the brain retraining program that I'm doing is going great. It's brought me so much progress and healing as well as the carnivore diet. I'm almost to a year on the carnivore diet and that has been completely life-changing for me as well. I'm definitely going to do a full update on how things are going soon, but I wanted to check in with you guys because we are actually headed to Florida tonight to Fort Myers to have my fifth round of prolotherapy treatments. And some of you guys have asked if I am continuing those treatments and the answer is yes, I am continuing them. The prolotherapy treatments really have improved my neck instability, pain, neurological symptoms a lot. Um, and like I've said, it's hard when you're doing so many things to tell, you know, exactly how much progress is coming from, you know, say DNRS or prolotherapy or um, the carnivore diet. But I started these things at such different times and saw significant progress with after doing all of them that I know that all of them are kind of working together with sort of a snowball effect to really accelerate my healing and help um, me recover as quickly as possible. We actually had not planned on leaving to go to Florida tonight. This morning I talked with the staff at Caring Medical and they said they had an opening tomorrow morning and we found a good deal on a last minute flight and all those things and so I've just been packing. Just we're going for a couple days just going to have the injections and a curve check and I thought I'd take you guys along with me. I know I did this for the first three treatments that I did. So this is a great example of like I couldn't have just been ready to go on a plane like this same day with where my health was at not too long ago and so that's just another sign of the progress that I've made. Um, yeah, we went to Utah several weeks ago to visit Jake's family. We went to Maine just for fun several months ago and I'll update you guys more on that stuff later but just wanted to check in and say things are going pretty well. <laughs> Healing is definitely not an easy thing. It's not linear. Um, I still have a lot of hard moments, but with the brain retraining program, I'm really focusing on sharing the positive things. And um, so anyway, it's hard work, but it's possible. And uh, that's what I feel like I just want to continue sharing is that healing from chronic illness is possible. So. If you guys are really in the thick of it right now, just if all you can do is have hope and believe that healing is possible, that can make a difference. Rachel, when you first came in to see me, which was in January of this year, this was a position of your curve. And at that time, we were all skeptical if we could even change a curve just because your occiput was fused, C1 is fused, C2 is fused. And we were like, you know, is this even going to be something that makes a difference? And so you can see that the angle from C2 down, that the, the neck was kind of forward, right? Because down here, it keeps going back. You can envision that it keeps going back for a while. You can see your shoulders are around here. So let's just take a look at kind of how it's progressed over time so if we fast forward to your last curve check with us in may we got the neck to look like this and so it's up a lot taller now and this was just from may so now it's coming almost from that same angle All but the right. neck is starting to come backward now instead of barely making it to just you know a few degrees forward like if, I, if that makes sense so it was going backward and then now 
interesting enough where we can actually draw a line here just to give a little bit of an idea there. We're definitely coming up and backward more. And so it's, you know, home run given, you know, with the fusion and everything. And then now today, we got the neck curve to look like this. And so this is not, I can't yet scale this image to full screen until we, we stop everything. But you can see that if we look at the trajectory of the lower angle, that it's coming back much earlier and we have a smooth backward curve to your neck when you're just standing neutral. You have almost an ideal curve now with the, the neck having a lordosis throughout the entirety of it. I mean, this is really a small miracle. Wow. And then when you put the weights on, even though it's reducing the curve, it's still good for you to do, I would say, once or twice a day because we're just really helping to solidify it and not allow it to start to fall back forward. We really want to just get it a little stronger in this upright position mm -hmm. and then probably once or twice a day and for maybe like another month or two. And then, okay. yeah, so you're doing fantastic. Injection holes here. Oh, I gotta zoom. zoom as the focus is a little off. It's a little needly here. Mm -hmm. That's a little injection box. There's Jake. For a walk after solo therapy, yeah, I feel really stuck right now, but um, we're doing it, and this is something that I wouldn't have been doing after the first few solo therapy treatments that I had. The recovery was definitely rougher, so yeah, okay. I'm doing fine. Fingers crossed that I only have to have one more treatment. Dr. Hauser pretty much just said, you know, once I get to a point where I'm feeling good, then to kind of just like enjoy feeling good and spend a year really just like strengthening my body, not doing anything that's going to jar my neck um, or risk any sort of, I guess, I don't want to say relapse, but like um, to risk going backwards, I guess you could say, in, in healing and so, um, that's what I'm going to try to work on doing. I think that's good advice. Um, obviously I would love to be bouldering and to be, <laughs> I don't know, skydiving, whatever, jumping and things like that, running, but I don't think my body's ready for that and I think that's okay. Healing it takes a long time and, um, I am able to do so much more now and it's just miraculous and I'm thankful every day. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna try to pace myself as best I can. Honestly, just being able to do things again, like I just want to do everything. And it's like after you've been deprived of doing things of life, really life at all for years, it's hard not <laughs> to want to just push yourself so hard to do everything and anything and, um, yeah, so I've seen some setbacks from overdoing it over the last months, but all in all, I mean, it's a good problem to have. And I'm thankful to be making so much progress, see so much healing, and 
yeah, it's such a blessing. So I have lots of videos that I want to make. I have lots of things I want to share with you guys, but these last few months have just been crazy and I'm sorry I haven't been able to update you much. But I do share quite a bit on my new Instagram account or by Rach that I made to just share my carnivore journey. But I share all sorts of things on there. I share about DNRS, prolotherapy, grounding, all these things that I've been doing to work towards healing. And I really hope that I'm going to have the energy and time to be making more frequent videos on here for you guys. But um, if you guys have any questions or topics that you guys want me to make videos on, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to try to get to them. I gotta end the video now, but um, just know that I'm rooting for you guys. I'm praying for you and um, if you're really in the thick of things with chronic illness right now, um, you're on my mind and I really, really hope that you can find things to help you to heal. It's possible and that's something that I really, really believe in now. Anyways, until next time, guys.